Hi, I'm Tom Lynch, and I'd like to share with you in just a few minutes some of the basics of using open source text analysis software um, to engage in what we might call distant reading um, or in, in the study of new literatures. So the first thing you would do is you would go um, to a, a site called Voyant Tools, which is an open source um, website. Um, and once you're there, you'll see that right on the page you can enter in any sort of URL or text that you find. So what I like to do for purposes of demonstration is I like to search for uh, Moby Dick eText. And then we get all of these different, you know, kind of examples of, um, of Moby Dick that come up. So we can pull any of these that, for purposes of demonstration, this one's actually not a great one because um, we want it all just on one page. So we'll grab the Gutenberg one. And here we go. So what we'll do just for sake of ease is we'll just highlight the whole page, copy it, and then go over to Voyant Tools and you can drop it in. Just can paste it into the box right there and you'll see that um, Moby Dick, the whole, the whole novel is now in here. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of some of the legal jargon that's at the end of it. Um, there we go, and then you just click the reveal button, and within a few seconds, what you'll see is um, is Voyant Tools kind of enter in Moby Dick, uh, enter Moby Dick into software space. So, all right, now we have a word cloud, um, but it's saying that the most frequently used words, for example, are like the and an and of. So, what we do is we go over um, to this settings button, and you click English. Um, stop words list and then apply globally. That's like the trick to using Voyant tools um, to get some like useful analysis. And then when you um, resubmit it now, it gets rid of all of those like functional words and it's just focusing on you know the the, the kinds of words that you're, you're probably more interested in um, for lit analysis. Um, and then what we see also in Voyant tools then is you can click on these little windows. So this one's down here. There's actually another secret window over on the side over there. Um, and then there's all sorts of ones as you you play with it over time and as videos and whatnot if you if you um, Google it online. Um, but just to show you like so what some of the potential is in terms of the ways in which you can use something like this is if you click the word whale, um, automatically uh, Voyant Tools um, you know takes the data it has and it graphs it for you as a word trend they call it. Um, and so what it's also doing with the word well is it's, it's based on really for, um, for this kind of analysis, it's based mostly on word frequency. So, um, or word count, right? So the list down here is the word count. And so it's, it's quantified the literary text, you know, kind of like the, the old compendia did in the past. Um, but then it's rendering it in all sorts of visual ways that can be useful for different kinds of analysis and insights and things like that. Um, so here we see the word whale um, mapped over the whole um, course of the of the novel. What it does automatically is it breaks any single text up into tenths down here. Um, there are other ways. It's a little more takes a little more work to. You could do it like chapter by chapter, but you'd have to save all the chapters as separate text files and do things like that. So what you also get, the, however, is like if you click on any one of these points, what it pulls up here is it pulls off the the keyword in context or the quick, and then you can click on it. It'll show you how the word whale appears in the actual in the passage. It also goes to that meet that exact place in the novel. Um, so it's got a lot of you know kind of potential just in terms of like you know sort of different ways to explore what's going on in a text. For example, you can take the word Ahab as well as the word whale, and then it'll graph them both next to each other. So if you're looking at this with students, it might be interesting to note like why does the word Ahab soar? Um, toward the end of the work, and the word whale um, dips um, in this word frequency. When we all kind of we all know what's happening here in terms of Ahab and whale, and and you know who wins, who loses, right? Um, but but maybe that's not true, depending on you know on the on the kinds of uh, um, based on the numbers, maybe that's not true. So the you know some of the things to think about when using this is you know one um, you know it, it is the case that in order it seems to me that like in order for students to make meaning out of you know the quantification of the text like they kind they have to understand what's going on in the actual novel so some some critics of this sort of analysis say that you know you're you're replacing you know deep reading with you know this kind of superficial numerical exploration of text and it's fun and it's visual but it's really it's you know it's not it's not the real hard work of studying lit and i would say you know i, I get that however it kind of depends on what you do with it as a teacher in the classroom um, and if what you do with it is you use it as an opportunity to um, to explore in greater depth 
um, certain key passages and interesting relationships, relationships between words that would have been very difficult to see um, if you were just reading without software in this case, well, you know, then I think I think it can actually be really, really useful. Um, I also know myself, I've taught a number of students who I think kind of almost would panic when they would see, you know, just pages full of words with something like Moby Dick. Um, and if there were ways to leverage software like this to help them pre-read as well as to do some like post-reading analysis, um, you know, I think that could be really, really beneficial as well. So um, I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Um, and you can reach me at uh, Tom at TomLiamLynch.org or through Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, any of the other usual suspects. And thanks for watching.